Yo, welcome back to another video. So today we've got a AliExpress card again, and it's a 4060 this time, and it's from Colorful, so you can't get this in this in this country, but I think they have it in some Asian countries. So obviously I got it from AliExpress, so China they have it. So this is the Battleaxe version, eight gigs, and it's the normal desktop version. None of that mobile stuff that people talk about, so use the official drivers. Um, let's open it up and let's see what it looks like. Um, foam and it's pretty basic to be honest it's a new card not one of those refurbed ones um, it's proper new I got it for I got it on sale so I paid about 175 pounds I put something up on the screen so you can see it and then I got hit with the tax but I bought other stuff with it as well so the tax was 50 pounds so 40 pounds goes towards this one 10 pounds on the other item so altogether I paid only about 215 pounds I think for the price for it new is all right but I'm not a 4060 fan because obviously 3060 with the 12 gig sounds better and then you're getting a downgrade but it is what it is and it's not even better than the 3070 which what we thought it would have been or even better than it should have been better than the 3060 ti at least but this is nvidia being greedy so yeah let's get it out so yeah as you can see it's nice and fresh so it's the twin fan model and the casing itself is all metal which is nice to see it's still got the film on it i haven't taken it off yet i'll do that later but yeah this is what it looks like from the front from the back we've got GeForce RTX here and then on here you can see colorful GeForce RTX 4060 Duo 8GB and this is what it looks like I like the cutout here so we've got nice cooling here normally with the fans it'll just hit the um, hit the uh, back plate and then the heat um, just stays there so it's nice to have that so the heat can escape um, nice logo here so yeah that's what it looks like here you can see the heat pipe I think just the one heat pipe there's the heat sink nothing too fancy this side pretty basic again and then on this side this is what it looks like actually it's got two heat pipes missed that out one eight pin which is nice to see and yes it's colorful here I think this lights up so we'll test that later once it's in the build and then on the side the usual free display ports one two three and the hdmi it'd be nice to see a type c in the future on these basic um budget gpus on the 60 series but at the moment we don't have those on this one and yeah overall a nice looking nice looking card um uh, I, I like it but yeah i wouldn't pay full price for one of these um, 300 pounds is quite a lot so at 215 pounds is all right but you can get better cards for 215 these days you can get a 3060 ti these days or even 3070 if you're lucky um 6700 xt can pick them up for about 200 pounds so if you're looking for something new yeah they're okay nvidia but again i'd rather have a 3060 ti at that price point or even a 6700 xt so what we'll do is pop it into a build and we'll check check the temps and um yeah we'll go from there so the graphics card inside my build this is a new brand new build that i've done and it's going to feature in my following video so i'm not going to show you what it looks like um but it's a cheap budget am5 that i'm doing um so anyway we've got a 7500f so it's an am5 platform 7500f ddr5 um at 5200 um mt and it's also on a a620 motherboard also want to mention that at the moment I'm doing a stress test and this is what the fan sounds like at full pelt. Not too bad to be honest. So I just want to apologise, I'm not recording off the computer, I'm doing it from my camera onto the screen so the quality is not going to be great. But as you can see my result, Alex Hercia 7489. The temps was actually pretty good, 53 degrees, not bad at all and this is at 1080p and as you can see 7500. F and I saw someone else's score which was similar to mine they got a little bit lower but yeah it, it varies it's, you're not going to get the same result because obviously the system is different they use the 3600 on the AM4 build but their core clock was a little bit higher so um, 65 degrees um, so yeah similar result to mine and I saw one higher than mine so I want to also show you that and you might think, why is it higher than mine? Is my one is something wrong with my one? Is it a fake one or something? But it's not that. If you look at the results, and um, you can see 81 degrees, so it is running a little bit higher. The reason why it's running a little bit higher is because they've overclocked it 
226.70. If you look at my one, it is at 24.60. So these results, you can't just you can't you can't just look at the results and say yeah this one's better, my one's the worst. You have to look at the actual details of why it is doing that. And last thing I want to show you is the stress test so i'm doing a stress test at the moment let me just shuffle it around a little bit so you can see the result and here i just want to see the temperatures to be honest this is just to see temperatures and at the moment as it's running it is running at 60 degrees which is pretty it's decent hot spot at 70 degrees vram usage which doesn't really matter but um, this temperature can be lower depending on your case or it can be warmer depending on your case depending on your climate but um, in the UK 60 degrees not too bad I've seen <laughs> a lot worse trust me I've benchmarked a lot of AliExpress <laughs> rebranded cards and they go close to high 70s low 80s sometimes especially the 5700 XTs and there we have it. This is a game. Um, it's going to do a quick test on it to make sure it doesn't crash and it's all working fine. I normally don't do like full benchmarks on different games. I just don't do that because um, this is running as a 4060. And if you want to see what a 4060 should behave like, then um, there's loads of videos on YouTube that show loads of different benchmarks, um, especially from Hardware and Box, probably the best one um, when it comes to benchmarking. And yeah, it's all, it's all working good. Um, like I said, I got for about I got £175 and after tax £215, which is not bad, but I'd rather get for that price. I can get a 6700 XT for that much, or a 3060 Ti, or even a 3070 if you're lucky. Um, so, yeah, it's going to end it there. Um, so, that's the colourful 4060. If you have any questions, then yeah, write them down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.